Competitive games, we all like to play them, we all like to rage at them. But what's something that almost every single competitive game has in common when a new patch update releases? Oh, that's right, it's a little word known as a meta. And no, I'm not talking about the company that has done some pretty suspicious things in the past, and it might be in war with a bird app. But anyways, that's besides the point. Osu has had multiple metas throughout the years, from spaced streams, to jumps, to high AR jumps, to what is now the current meta, which is pretty much speed consistency, something like that. Since the release of the previous PP changes, we've seen a lot of new players in the top 100. Waro, Ninerik, Xylus, Eterna. I mean, goddamn, even Emrek and Lifeline became speed players out of everyone. But out of all the players in the top 10, there's only one player that won one player that decided that they didn't want to follow what's the current popular meta in the game, that one player that nobody knows anything about, that managed to reach the top 5 on their own way. And yes, of course, I'm talking about Gnachus, the current number 4 player in Osu. Ah, shit, no! <laughs> Okay, let's do a quick introduction to Gnachus. So, Gnachus is a 17-year-old player from Poland who, unlike most top players who focus more on speed right now, he focuses more on the aim aspect of the game. You won't hear him how he sounds in this video because he does prefer his privacy, but let's just get started on how he actually found out about Osu, which is pretty simple and straightforward. He just found a random play on his YouTube recommended page and was like, Oh shit, this game looks interesting. You know what, I'm going to try it. So that's how in August 1st of 2018 he registered his OSU account. Unlike most players, he wasn't instantly hooked into the game. He tried it every now and then, but he didn't actively start playing the game until April of 2019. That's when he found out that this game is pretty fun to play. However, one problem that we have with this video and Gnachus is that even if I wanted to show you his first plays, progression and so on, I couldn't really do that because of one major problem, and that's the fact that Gnachus himself doesn't even remember his earlier top plays. Not only that, but apparently he lost his Osu folder that had replays from 2019 to 2022. What we can confirm for sure though, is the fact that Gnachus' improvement is insanely fast. He managed to reach 4 digits within 1 year and 4 months of playing the game, actively. 2020 as a year for his improvement was actually crazy, because around March of that year he was setting plays like 244 pp, 250. Around the end of May he managed to set his very first 300 pp play on VTV size, which is an A map, one of the maps that you're watching currently in the background, then no joke, a month and a half later he set his very first 400 pp play. One thing that I think you notice from the very start of me showing his score progression is that he mainly focuses on two things, Nomad aim and DT aim. That might be part of the reason why he improved so fast, because he focused on only one thing, that thing being aim of course. And obviously when everyone is farming one thing, they're like, Gnachus is going to join that and greatly benefit from it. That's how he managed to reach from 4 digit to 3 digit in half a year. Gnachus hit 4 digit around July of 2020 and then he hit 3 digit around the end of the year. Maps that he played around that time to gain so much ranks are stuff like Dakara, Change, Cold Green Eyes, Base Slot, Chica to Chica Chica and many many more maps that I can list for hours. His fast improvement rate continued throughout the whole year of 2021, farming the most popular DTA maps that were at the time like for example, Imagination, start again, Yume Shizu, and many many more. And as you can see from the graph that I'm showing you on screen right now, from around end of March to like the end of July, he grinded a lot. Because of this grind, around that period, he hit top 100 for the very first time. And ever since then, he has never left the top 100. First ever time he was quote-unquote close to leaving the top 100 was the release of the new PP rework that made a lot of changes in the game. One of the main changes is that DT aim farm maps were pretty much nerfed by a huge amount and because Gnachus is a more aim oriented player, he lost a ton of ranks, dropping from rank 48 all the way down to rank yeah, 73. Yes. Here's the interesting part of 2022 and the PP changes that happened the year before that. In 2022, players slowly but surely were shifting their focus more towards stream maps, DT speed maps and stuff like that. Like even the number one player, Emrek, was focusing on maps like the Pretender, Feeling Sky, Light It Up and those are maps that still haven't been sniped to 
this day, believe it or not. But Gnacus, on the other hand, he just pretty much stick to what he was good at before. Gnacus so far has had two pretty big pop-ups that we are going to talk about in this video. We are going to focus more on the second one because that's the one that most people are familiar with. The first pop-off period started around July 21st and lasted until the end of September where he went from rank 63 all the way to rank 20. In this period he managed to set multiple 800 and 900 pp plays. A little interesting thing to know about Gnachus is that he does believe that setup really doesn't matter. In fact, believe it or not, he set his first ever 900 pp play with a, as he refers to it, random off-brand Polish keyboard that he used to have. Nahus really showed the world what he's capable of with this pop-off, but let's just say he flexed even more to the world when he did his second major pop-off that we're going to talk about right now. For pretty much the entirety of April of 2023, he pretty much showed the world what he's capable of with only A. Shocked everyone when he set his very first 1000 pp play on a map that's pretty much less than one minute. I mean, just take a look at how fast and crazy this is. Nahus didn't stop there, he continued his pop-off by setting 1k's on maps like Happy Luck, Mirror, Metal Crusher, And of course, he's choke on send on life. Thanks to all these 1000 pp plays, Gnacus jumped from rank 20 all the way to rank 4, which is his current rank at the moment. Finally, let's talk about Gnacus' tournament history. Gnacus has managed to participate in a lot of tournaments, but out of all the tournaments that he has participated in, he managed to grab 3 badges. Bubbly QT Osu Party 3, K and Yolk Spy Scramble, and Kai's Finest Cup 2023. But you will be surprised that actually out of all the 3 tournaments that I just mentioned, none of them is actually his favorite. His favorite tournament experience so far was OWC 2022. And the reason for it is simple, he just liked the people he was in a team with and just the overall chill vibe and VCs he had with the Polish team. You know the Polish team is chill with it. Polska Guru. Anyways, as a final conclusion to the video, I guess you can say that if you just stick to what you're good at, you can for sure succeed in this game. You don't have to always follow the game's meta if you want to succeed in it or set amazing scores. For Gnakus and what he's gonna do in the future is just play and enjoy the game until he gets bored of it. As a final message to you guys, just play songs that you like and don't force yourself to play the game when you're not feeling like it. Anyways, shout out to my boy Filthy who helped me get in contact with Gnakus. If it wasn't for him, this interview wouldn't have happened. Ha, little bitch. I got you this time. Well, Mr. Felty, unlike the last time you ended my life, I have a backup plan now. How about you look behind you? Not so tough now, aren't you, you little bitch?